What's up, what's up everyone, Pyre Husky here. At first I want to apologize for delay. It happened because of last game patch, all of my monsters vanished. But now everything is fine, so let's start our first guide video. Firstly, when you finish prologue, click chat icon right here and in the world chat ask for invite code which give you some benefits as scrolls high level players uh, has those codes, codes here so click friends then invite and in the bottom of the screen is the code you can also use mine i will put in the video details right up in comment section my code so feel free to use to use the code you have to click on your avatar icon and then click special code of course write it and confirm all right um, secondly in the word chat ask for a guild. I highly recommend Horde Guild. There are plenty of helpful and very experienced players. So if you want to find them, just click Guild, Rankings, and they are number four. Horde Guild. Currently, they're maxed, but feel free to write, and I'm sure they will help you. Next, if you find strong player in the world chat, chat at this moment <laughs> no one is here. Um, but if you find strong player in the world chat, click on his name and add friend. That's very important. You can have up to 50 friends. As you can see, I have 47, so you can also invite me and I will accept it um, and as I said you can have up to 50 friends which means that you can use the representative monster 50 times per day and this is essential to do progression way faster than solo playing all right let's send some hearts to my friends and all right now let's talk about monsters so i'm going to my hero section and chiefs and chaotic your starter best monster will be angel of death and this is this girl um and she is a decent farmer but as long as you don't get really good nat 5, I highly recommend to use this girl. And the correct skill setup is the first one here and then Sinister Strike which is an AoE damage skill and the passive stay the chase because every single time when she kill an enemy she received a bonus attack turn. Um, best monsters as starter unit are, and now I will show you them. First one is Lich King. Another one is Artifact, that I don't already have. And another one is Spider Queen. Then we move to Light, here is Jean from Dark, LD4 star is Karun and the last one is Medusa from Chaotic and here, there we go. If you are patient you can restart your account till you get one of the following monsters. With these heroes that I have mentioned a few seconds ago, your progression will be incredibly fast because they are 
AoE damage dealers and they can easily clean most of scenarios, especially Blackpool Hills, that is essential to level up your units on Hell stage. Next step, my dear friend, is to save Kalianta. I have over 36 million, but when you start your game, you will have <laughs> less, uh, less of that. And this is very important because don't spend them to expand your storage. So if you move to monster and storage, you have a plus here and you click and you have two options. First, expand by 10 and use 200,000 of Caliente or 20 crystal. So if you want to increase amount of your monster in storage, definitely use crystals. The same thing is about rune upgrade. If I move to my representative monster and don't max rune slots. One, three and five. Those stats are not super important for you as a early game player. Focus on rune slots 2, 4 and 6. And to max them to plus 15. Alright, now let's move on to the most important quests for early game players. In the first quest it's first quest in quick level page. In the quest section you find different quests which you can complete during the game. But the most relevant one to get started is the quick level. So you go to fight section, then quick level and here. Conquer Blackpool Hills. First task will give you a full set of heroic 5 star runes for your farmer. All you need to do for it is to clear Blackpool Hills level 1 on normal stage with only one hero without support from your friends. When you get those purple runes stick all of them on your farmer, you need to boost it. As I mentioned before, upgrade to plus 15 only runes on slots 2, 4 and 6. Rest upgrade max to plus 12. I hope it's clear and that's really essential. You have to do that this quest. It really help you, believe me. Um, Alright, now let's talk about units to level up in the early game. All of the units I present now in this section are very useful even until mid and end game. So, first one will be Windwalker. It's a loveful unit. Free star monster. And it's best attack bar booster in the game. Can be used in every area of the game, even in the end game. Moreover, it's very easy to get and maximize skills. This unit drop in the Blackpool Hills when you where you will spend a lot of time by leveling your units. And the skill section should be like it is right now. So we have first skill, second which uh, restore 15% of health when it's not maximized and 100% of energy to an ally so it means your unit will move right after you use this skill and the third one is an AOE attack bar booster for all of your units <coughs> excuse me second one is also from Loveful and it's Druid Druid is one of the best healers in the entire game. Has cleanse buff. So this one, energy rain. Immunity buff. Also here. 
and counter buff that can be used to farm chimeras about which I will talk in the next videos. So you have this counter buff here. Summer Thorn Garden. Um, another one is an evil unit. She can also be used as farmer if you get her. She's much better than Angel of Death, in my opinion. And here, the Flame Spirit. Flame Spirit is one of the best arena monsters for offense because of brutal AoE damage that ignores the defense of the enemy. She works like Lucian from uh, Summoner's War. Fourth unit also from evil <coughs> is this guy demonic swordsman demonic swordsman is very good attack bar booster because of his passive skill angels ep so when landing a critical strike and fully skill up he has 100 percent chance to restore 20 percent of all allies energy but as you can see he hits two times so it means that he will restore 40 percent of your allies energy that's really a lot this unit is very useful early for early catacombs viper dreamland and spire as long as you get yuki about whom i will talk also in the next videos Fifth unit is from Chaotic section and that's Vampire. And Vampire has awesome third skill, um, Sanguine Curse, which blocks passive skills from all enemies. This unit is super useful as Calibra Crystal Guardians has a ton of good passives. And also this um, hero will be used as long as you get Monkey King, that is Dark Not 5. So we have here this wonderful boy that I don't have, that's the reason why I'm still using Vampire. Moreover you can use Vampire also in the catacombs to do some speedruns in the mid and also end game. Overall. Um, overall, keep all of the 4 and 5 star units that you get. I will focus more about rest of them in the next videos. 4 and 5 star units are essential to progress in a lot of areas, especially at world boss. We have this big guy here, Thanatos, Thanatos the world boss, and you can get here really a lot of various rewards so keep all of the four and five star units all right we are almost done done the penultimate element that we will talk about now is growth plan so i can't show you here because i have finished all of the growth plan i had but in the left side of your screen um probably it's just up on the wish or bottom uh, will be something called as growth plan i highly recommend to buy let's call it expansion to it because rewards will be doubled with growth plan you can get a lot of scrolls and various rewards and that's pretty obvious more scrolls more crystals give you more monsters and more chances to get new not five monsters the complete growth plan will be put down above the comment section so you can check what you have to do to achieve another growth plan and what final reward is um, the last and also very important aspect is a way to use correctly quest and achievement rewards so 
if you move to the uh, quest section in the daily fight and achievement one um, uh, you can see that for example if I send gift to friends five times I get a ticket and also 50 XP points but no I will give you one short um, example uh, let's say you are level 10 and you have max energy or even above then don't collect your quest and achievement rewards why it's simple every single time you reach new level your arena wings and energy that is on the right side i have 100 per 110 per 10 because i didn't use any at this moment but if um, you reach new level it will be restored to 100 percent so first try to spend it in the scenario for example so let's click battle blackpool hills and again battle choose your friend representative monster and monster that you want to level up and just to spend it um, and ju ju just to spend it and don't use crystals to refuel your energy when your energy is gone um, then just collect certain amount of quests to achieve next level so if I would be a level 10 now I could go to the quest section click collect and voila I'm level 11 and then again my energy my wings are restored to 100% and I can use it um, to level up my monsters um, if I knew that when I have started the game I could do my progression way faster because I waste a lot of energy for nothing just for nothing and that's pointless if I now have 96 per 100 and I could achieve level 51 which is impossible now my energy would be restored to 100 again so just four energy so 96 was wasted all right at the end i want to say thank you to my whole guild it's gold guild and to people who inspired me to create this and future guide videos i'm talking i'm talking um I'm talking about Acharos, Game Over and Bertie. I'm glad that they allowed me to share our knowledge to you guys. So that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the bell to be informed about next videos and also subscribe my channel. Comments are also welcome. See you next time.